Christian win on Saturday night. He won the WBA Super World Welterweight Championship all at the age of 40. And Skip, you were there. How impressive was he? Mr. Sharp. Yes. I must admit, I was stunned by what I saw on Saturday night from mm. Manny Pacquiao. I did not expect to see that. He looked 10 years younger than age 40. He was fighting a man who was literally 10, 10 years, years younger and undefeated. Mm -hmm. And that Manny looked as quick and powerful and explosive as I've seen him look since pre-Floyd Mayweather fight, mm -hmm. which was May the 2nd of 2015. Right. More than four years ago. Right. And he was especially explosive and quick with his right hand, and he is left-handed. Right. But that little right jab, yeah. he, he, put him, he put him down in the first round with yeah. a little quick flick right. Mm -hmm. Would you believe that Manny Pacquiao landed 82 jabs to Keith Thurman's 18? Right. 82 to 18? What? Oof. And to me, I was looking at a man who has turned 40 back in December, December 17th, who was out of desperation he has gotten into the best shape of his life. I've never seen him in better shape than he, he was in on Saturday night. And I don't know how you get quicker and faster and more explosive at age 40, but he had accomplished that. Hmm. Again, he, he gets desperate because he loves to fight, he loves to compete, he loves to make money, he gives a lot of his money away in his native Philippines, mm -hmm. and Yet, that man was on some new mission I haven't seen before. So right as the fight ended, from ringside, I tweeted, Floyd would want none of Manny right now. Floyd would get hurt. And if a week ago you had asked me about the prospect of Manny at 40 fighting Floyd at 42 in a rematch, I would have scoffed, if not just outright right, laughed at it. Mm -hmm. And now I start thinking, because I'm still holding a grudge over what happened. I know you are. I am. I'm just holding on because it <laughs> sticks in my craw what happened. <laughs> I remind everybody, before that May 2nd, 2015 fight, more than four years ago, Manny Pacquiao tore his rotator cuff while sparring about three weeks yep. before the bout. Right. He tried to get an injection. They didn't turn in the right paperwork on that night, so he fought with no painkiller in the shoulder. Right. He basically fought with one arm, and I still believe he beat Floyd to my eye test just because he was the aggressor the whole fight. And as we know, Floyd is one to do, and he is the greatest at doing it. Floyd hit and ran the whole night. Yeah. That's just his style. Yeah, That's the way he does yeah, it. He it's, not, you, yeah. it's, it's not fun to watch, but it is extremely effective. Mm -hmm. But I still thought, and the only other guy who said it was Evander Holyfield thought, Manny deserved to win the fight just on being the aggressor for our, all 12 rounds. So that sticks in my craw to the point that I would love to see Manny get a measure of revenge. Unfortunately, Floyd is 42. About to be 43 and, in and, February. And, and he's fought nobody, because yeah. I can't count Conor, Conor McGregor right. as a boxer. You and know? that was That's two good. years ago, Skip. Okay, yeah. and, and we have to go clear back to, what was it? Berto, his last fight was, in 2015. Yeah, it was in September, so it was from May to September, and that was it. Wow. Yes. Okay, so what, what's Floyd got left? I have no idea. Would Floyd take this fight? Would he just do it just for the money? Yeah. Probably would. The thing that Floyd Mayweather cares about more than legacy yeah. is... Money. Okay, that's if, his if, nickname. Yeah. If, yeah. So if, right. if somebody can yeah. give him, assure him a quarter of a million, yeah. Floyd Mayweather take this fight. Maybe more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, look, Skip, I can't disagree with you. I thought he looked unbelievable. I thought it was a unanimous decision. I didn't so think. Did he, I. I, I didn't Damn. think it was a split decision. Mm -hmm. I thought he outclassed. He outboxed. He did everything out better than Keith Thurman. Mm -hmm. um, I was really never, ever, and this is not to take anything away from Manny, but I always thought that Errol Spence Jr. and Bud Crawford were the class of this division. Now, Listen, Spence, especially Errol Spence Jr. Yeah, oh, he, Spence Jr. and Sean dynamite. Crawford, they're going, they're going to get this thing on yep. in September. Mm -hmm. But Floyd was unbelievable, Skip. His in and out, his side to side, uh, his speed was there. Um, and when I, look, when, I look at, when I looked at him and I'm watching him, and I'm saying, hold on, I remember in 2017 that Connor was catching Floyd with shots that surely Manny could catch him with, but I don't believe Floyd would fight Manny like he fought Connor mm. because he, like, put his head in his chest, 
says, I'm not going anywhere because I don't believe you can get me out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't believe he'll stand there and try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao because mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao's a boxer. He can sit down on punches. Mm -hmm. He can get you out of there. So Floyd, I believe, would, would fight him different than what he fought Conor. But, Skip, this is the best I've seen Manny Pacquiao fight in a very long time. Mm -hmm. He didn't fight like this against, against uh, Jeff Horn. He didn't fight like this. He, he was pathetic against. I, I thought that was the end. <laughs> but I like, thought it was Ooh. over. Exactly, Skip. He he was he was special Saturday night. He looked like he looked like Manny pa the old, not the old Manny Pacquiao. He looked like the old Manny Pacquiao. The darting, the end, because that's the way he fights. He dart in and out, and sometimes Ooh. that's what got him knocked out against Marquez. It did is that he got caught darting in and he caught him flush, and he don't remember anything after that, but. He beat Keith Thurman. This should have been a unanimous, not a majority, not a split decision, a unanimous decision because he was hitting, he was hurting Thurman, hitting him to the body. Mm -hmm. A 30-year-old, he, oh, he slept in a hyperbaric chamber for five weeks. Well, he needed to sleep in there for a whole year because mm -hmm. a 40-year-old, he told me, well, I'm going to put him into retirement. I'm going to do to him what he did to uh, uh, De La Hoya. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send him into retirement. He's got T-Rex arms. Yeah, little nice. little arms, all, 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 all that. Say. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what got, what got Manny Pacquiao motivated. Mm. He knows he can't look bad in any other fight if he has any hopes, any dreams of fighting Floyd Mayweather. Correct. Huh. That's what this is about, Skip mm -hmm. Bayless. So I think he'll probably have to fight one of these other guys, Spence Jr., he might. Sean Porter, Bud Crawford. Yep. Before before he sees Floyd, but if somebody said, "Well, Floyd, we got three hundred million, Floyd Mayweather, it will start trading." Now he still trains, he still does he his does. thing, but Floyd Mayweather love money. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody follows him on Instagram, but he's normally walking around with a million dollars, two million dollars, and he loves that. In some casino where yeah, he's... oh yeah, uh, on his jet, mm -hmm. and he got like thirty Rolexes from the Richard Mills to mm -hmm. eighteen million dollar Jacob, all that. Mm -hmm. For that skip, if you maintain a lifestyle like that. It costs money. And when you got money going out, and Floyd's not currently fighting, you need to have something coming in. 250, 300 million would do just nicely. Mm -hmm. So I was with you. I thought there's no way, no way Floyd and Manny Pacquiao would ever fight again. Been there, done that, saw it, didn't want to see it again. But if Manny Pacquiao keeps fighting like this, and someone's going to come to the table and say, Floyd, we got a quarter of a bill for you, Floyd Mayweather's going to step back in mm -hmm. the ring. Because I believe $250 million, $300 million means more than 50 and 0. Hmm. How much would it help if Floyd took one tomato can fight, you know, just one opponent of, you know, lesser mm -mm. magnitude just to show you he can still do it? No, because it'll almost be like, it'll almost be like Anthony Joshua because he took it, what he thought was a tomato can with Ruiz. Mm -hmm. yep. and Because everybody wanted to see him and Dante Wilder. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to see Joshua, Dante That's Wilder. True. Ooh, we want to see that fight. And Skip, remember I said that what, uh, Sugar Ray was right here. I said, well, Sugar Ray, what happens if one of these guys lose? It's going to lose some of the luster. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, you're right, but I don't think Joshua. And lo and behold, what happened? Mm -hmm. He got sat down. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, people aren't clamoring mm -hmm. for the Joshua, Dante Wilder like they were before. Floyd's not taking any fights other than Manny Pacquiao because nobody else can give him that kind of money. Mm. He ain't doing no fight for no $30 billion. Mm. He went and fought an exhibition. He fought some guy in Japan, I think, what's good, for $8 million that lasted like 30 seconds. Mm. He do stuff like that. But with a chance that's going to uh, put a blemish on his resume, mm -hmm. he ain't taking a fight like that. But he mm. will fight Manny Pacquiao for mm. $300 million. So I'm going to do my part. Floyd, <laughs> I dare you now to take this man on because you would get hurt if you tried Manny Pacquiao right here, right now. He's gone back in time. Well, you know, maybe maybe he has the stomach for it because you see, it seemed like before, Skip, he had lost his stomach. And that's what Sugar Ray told us, Skip. Sometimes you lose your huh. stomach to hurt somebody. No, you can't do that if you're in the hurt business. Mm -hmm. You can't lose your stomach to try to hurt somebody and get them up out of there. It seems like he's gotten that, that gravitas back. He's gotten that well, blood back in his Freddie mouth. Freddie Roach was concerned and voiced it publicly before the Floyd fight because Manny was a born-again Christian. Has he lost his, his will to put someone down? Yeah. Because in that game, in that business, you have to be willing yeah. to put the man Her, away. Yes. 
and I think he was trying to put Keith Thurman he away was. in the first round, and he got him again in the second round. It looked like he was trying to finish the job. Well, Skip, he he was ahead on the scorecards, and he was trying to finish him in the twelfth round. Yeah, that's one. He, he went after him in the twelfth. That's round. the he thing did. about Manny. It was impressive. He, he doesn't sit back and like I got this fight run no. one. I'm gonna run around and dance all that. Mm. Manny Pacquiao still trying to get folks out of there. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be very very interesting to see how this plays out. Who can um. Uh, Bob Arum, because Manny is managed by top rank, mm -hmm. who can they put him in there with next? Mm -hmm. But I would not be surprised at some point in 2020 if Manny Pacquiao wins his next fight against one of these top-tier guys, I can see in 2020 him fighting for Well, him. if he beat Errol Spence, it'd be like, oh. Yeah. But, Errol Spence but, but then I'm afraid that would scare Floyd off. Uh, huh? $300 million in square no? employee. Oh, mm -mm. that money. I just remember when we had Manny on the show. Remember? You know, he's talking about his work as a yeah. senator and... Where, how do you find the time oh, to train? He's like, I, I find time. I don't oh, yeah. Time. It, and you know, he's, you, he, I don't know if you convinced him or he convinced you yeah. that he won the fight against Floyd, but he sincerely believed deep down that he beat Floyd in the fight. He does. Because he keeps saying he, he, he run, he run, he ran. He didn't want to fight. Mm hmm Okay. Well, here we go. I hope so. So I'm sitting near his wife and mother, and they've been through all these wars, and Ernestine kept saying, my wife Ernestine kept saying, Look at his mother. She's so into it. She's like she's fighting the fight. Yeah. For him. And I said, she's been doing this for about 20 years. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. And you notice Keith Thurman, that was the first time he had recently got married. Yep. That was the first time that she saw him fighting. And, and there's a difference, Skip. She looks I understand you want to see that, but come on, in the locker room, you got to get your mind right. He up there hugging and kissing and taking pictures. I, I think he thought he was going to send Manny on his way in. Okay. Sure. Okay. He's still Manny Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. He's the only guy that got the, that won eight, got eight titles in eight different divisions. Yeah. Well, so he's going to be, uh, you look at, oh, he's 40 years old. and Okay. Mm. Okay. Vibranium. Does I'm glad work. you were hey, 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 I know right here. Mm. You will find out the hard way about that vibranium. <laughs> Come on, told me. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, you're going to the hard way, Skip Bayless. Uh, how about this next story? Why is Bill Belichick helping the Cowboys? Uh, what is Skip going to say next? We'll tell you. Mm.